What's up, guys? Deathman here, and I'm here with Neilam. Hello. Hello. Yep. Yep. We're, we're partying over here. Okay, so what we're doing today, Nils will explain. Uh, what we're trying to do is find the uh, the actual spawn chunks on this map so that we can have a few mechanical structures loaded that will stay operating all the time. So regardless if anybody shows up at spawn or leaves spawn, these structures will always work. And our primary goal is to lay out so we can get an iron golem farm established. So we have infinite iron forever. Forever. Exactly. All right. We've, <clears throat> we've went through on X and Z coordinates and laid out where all of our zero zero points are for each chunk. And basically we want to throw out a few points or a few blocks at each chunk location and run that way until these chunks can unload. Wait till they should have despawned and then come back and see where we can find items or not. And that should be close enough to the edge of our uh, our spawn chunks. So basically five or six items at each point and we'll run that way. Yep. All right. So I need some cobble. Oh, here. I'll just throw them out. Where are you? Okay. I didn't throw them on it. There we go. So we just got to throw them off at the pillars. And here is you a, here's you a stack. Yeah. Did I collect the one from the other pillar by accident? Uh, probably, but it should have been about right here, so. I'll, I'll go throw it back. So I just have to throw it on top of the pillar or just right next to it? I throw it to the east of the pillar. Okay, so south, east. Yeah, just past west. it. All right, it's right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. This is quite an odd thing. So, like, me and myself, I've never made iron golem farms before. Because I'm, I'm just such a great miner. I, I don't need it. Well, it's it's good to be a great miner, but after you have a basically a civilization established, iron is a very great resource to have in quantity. You got a point. You have 30 or 40 players, but after you eat up a lot of the iron within the spawn area... It starts to become scarce. Okay, so tell me what you feel about, like, all these, like, cobblestone structures that spawn. Like, like my idea of spawn is, like, an epic, gorgeous, beautiful thingy of sorts. And, and it, that, it, it usually it. is. <laughs> it is. After a few years or decades. <laughs> but if you think back to, uh, think back to Jamestown, or not Jamestown, uh, goodness, the original settlements, I think it was Jamestown. That was the massacre with the Indians. But No, it was uh, Roanoke. Ah, uh, yes, Roanoke, the lost civilization of Roanoke. If you, if you look back, the first few years were basically defensive and sustained. Just whatever it took to sustain the colony. They weren't worried about really what anything looked like. So if well, we can... Once we get, like, sustained and everything else, like, we're, once we have everything going, we're going to make everything pretty and tear stuff down and make other things more Basically. efficient. All Basically. right. So this is this is the start, guys. So you start it from the bottom, and then we get to the place where we need to be. And uh, we I mean, right now we're trying to not die on a daily basis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You had to bring deaths into this. <laughs> Mr. Tin Kills over here. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> Well, that's the that's the ultimate goal. I mean, think of it. If this was real life. When death, you're gone. That's it. I mean, thank goodness that this is a game. So you have multiple chances to try something over and over, and maybe this works, maybe that doesn't work. You know. But I'm pretty sure if it wasn't a game, I wouldn't be so like uh, adventurous because I would stay near um, things that I know what I'm doing. I wouldn't go to a, a random dimension. And die like six times. <laughs> and I definitely wouldn't spawn inside of a wall and suffocate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've had terrible luck with the deaths on this server. So basically, we're here. We'll throw out a few items. We'll wait for those to despawn. And that'll give us a marker of when we can run back. 
All right, so we're back, and... Oh, crap, okay. So, uh, it turns out the items are still here, which means that uh, the mission was a success, right? Yes. Hooray. And they're, they're still at the next and the next, but I'm not really wanting to die to figure it out. Yeah, I want to get back to the safe zone, <laughs> so... Uh, through this. Yeah, the spider, go kill the skeleton. That's fine with me. Oh, crap. I had to find him. Three hearts, three hearts missing. Oh, dang. Missing or you're missing. at three hearts? No, if I was at three hearts, I'd be like, see ya, get out of here, bye, let them kill you, I'm not dying again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd probably defend your zero That's hearts the and idea. That, charge in. <laughs> that last column we found that had the uh, items, that was the very edge, what we could assume is the edge of the uh, the spawn chunks. Here, let's go inside where we're talking, because... It's a little bit safer. Yeah. All right. We're in. <laughs> I feel bad that all the nether wart's gone. Oh, I have a ton of nether wart at my base. I've actually been coming back to the spawn house and putting some in here to just for people that might need it. Like, before there was only, like, like 10 left, and I've, I've been, like, splitting half of it every time I harvest. Well, I'm not sure if it was all took up to be moved somewhere else or if somebody just took it all. I don't know. I I used a lot of it when I when I was uh, first starting, but I've tried to um, make amends and put some back in. Dang it. Found it. Uh, come on. Get back in the house. Okay. I'm out of pots. Dang, one more time. I've got some. Man. Dang it! This is this is. I oh, this is why I like my bow, but my bow had to break. <laughs> Sorry. Man. I can't wait to clean all this up and make it look like amazing. I want to open up and. Here. There's your pot. No, I'm I'm at like I'm only missing like half a heart, but I'll keep it just in case. I would keep it. <laughs> Man, I think I'm going to go back to my base. Well, what I was saying, though, on your way back to your base, we're still talking. The uh, the spawn chunks may or may not be that particular area just by the way that chunks interact and the way that they load and unload. And uh, through JL's video, there was a lot of description as... I can't really explain it at the moment, but there was a lot of description as far as what it takes to fully load a chunk versus partially load a chunk. And you can tell by the way that different entities react within that chunk, whether or not it's fully or partially loaded. But the items on the ground usually give you a very good indication. And it, and it will usually be, if it's just the 12 by 12 chunk range for the original spawn, that you're within one chunk of that edge so you can test it further a little bit later and 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 narrow it down but for right now that gives us a very good baseline to work from yeah i see your point okay now i've got four pots on me again <laughs> <laughs> i hate i hate doing this and coming back here every time i need uh stuff that's here uh, I collected like a ton of glowstone and then I died. <laughs> uh, man, making that portal, like my portal is like floating over lava. So when I really? went to make the, yeah, when I went to make the portal, it was terrible. I, I died twice. I was at eight deaths. I was doing really good that day. And I jinxed myself and I said, oh man, I've been doing really good today. <laughs> <laughs> and then I died. I was shot off by a, uh, gas. <laughs> well, oh, I, Nels may be the only person on the server with uh, no deaths at this point. Nels has played it really safe. All right, guys. So I guess that's it for this part, and I'll see you back later. What's up, guys? Deppin here, and we're back. And what I didn't get to show you is what I've done with my base. Um, Nels was talking, and I didn't want to interrupt him, so uh, I let him do his thing, and now I'm going to show you. So, what I did, 
I smoothed everything out because you guys know how I do. Um, if that wasn't already there, it's there now. Added some melon farms. We got a potion stand over there next to the infinite water source. I put a bed in. Uh, I moved these back a little bit and everything else. And then I put in a portal um, to link my thing to the hub, which you guys saw me coming down here earlier. And um, right now, what I want to do is I want to go help uh, Matt uh, make the farm. So the iron farm. So uh, I'm going to head over there now. And then I'm probably going to give you updates as to what we're doing on that uh, later on. So see you guys when we're back. What's up, guys? And we're back. So what we've been doing was this. Yeah, okay. So when this thing is done and everything's set up, um, Neilium is the one who's going to set everything up for the farm. But this... This is what we did. It took like three hours for three people working on it. We all had Enchanted, Unbreaking, Fortune 3. Not Fortune, it doesn't matter. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, Pickaxes. And I've gone through two Pickaxes. And I'm trying to re-enchant one. I'll go ahead and try to re-enchant that now. So, yeah, we've been doing a lot. It's been uh, very, very, very time-consuming. So I'm going to go ahead and enchant this back up. Alright, so I have a question that I want to pose for you guys. So, what kind of things do you want to be seeing in the series? What kind of things do you want to be updated on? So like this. Yeah, I can afford that. Woohoo. Um, what things do you want to see in the series? Um, uh, I... I'm not really sure what to show you. I, I'm showing you stuff like this right now, but uh, what exactly do you... Oh, why is that glitching? Well, what exactly do you want to be seen? And uh, I'd like to know. So please comment and uh, tell me what you guys would like to be seen. Please like the videos uh, so that I know that you're enjoying them and it helps me out and everything else. So I think I'm going to call it an end to this episode. And uh, we'll see you guys back next time. Be happy. Keep it classy. Goodbye.